Hi everyone and welcome to week three. This week we're going to start working on your LinkedIn profiles. If you don't have a LinkedIn profile, now's the time to get one. Um, if you do have one, now's the time to optimize it. So either way, um, I think that this will really benefit you. We all know how important LinkedIn is now to um, networking and finding um, a job. So um, there are six areas that we want to talk about how to optimize. But in general, overall, the biggest mistake that people make when um, doing their LinkedIn profile is that they don't add enough detail. They skimp on detail. And LinkedIn is not the place to skimp on detail. It's the place to expand on detail, add narrative, add details. You're adding keywords. You're making yourself more searchable and you're providing more detail and recruiters actually like that. So um, you want to make sure that you're really following best practices for each of these areas. The first is um, your professional photo and your background image, your headline, your branding statement and professional summary. Now the first three items are actually part of the same section on LinkedIn, which I will get to um, in the next video. Um, and then your next um, is obviously your professional and volunteer experience. In my experience, people often just skip the volunteer experience where I think it's very important and I think it's actually um, really makes you look um, a lot more well-rounded when you have volunteer experience and when you explain it. Don't just list it, but explain it. Your education, actually there's places um, in your education area where you can talk about your experience, you know, at Drexel or, you know, being um, a BSMS or being, you know, a master's and why and, and all of that. So, or you can even talk about your favorite courses. And then lastly, it's the skills and recommendations. We're also going to start talking about that this week as well. Okay, so um, let's get ready to start working on that LinkedIn profile. Now, remember um, your bio and your branding statement, which you're working on, um, those will become part of your LinkedIn profile. Next week in week four, we start working on your resume. And after, after that's done, then you can upload that to LinkedIn. And LinkedIn will populate it, and then I will show you how to rearrange things if necessary. Okay, so um, I would definitely recommend getting on LinkedIn this week and looking at people in your field and seeing, you know, what their titles are like, um, looking at their skills and all of the kind of detail that they're putting into their profiles. Okay, so this was um, the intro video to LinkedIn, and next we will talk about some of the specific areas.